Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a quick love reading for the sign of Aries. So if you're Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stadium in Aries, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. In this reading, we are going to look into the person on your mind, the person on your mind or the person you are dealing with, the person you are interested in. Their current feelings, how they see you or this connection and their true intentions or actions. Alright. Okay. Thank you, lovers. Thank you, Spirit of Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit of Christ. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, ascended masters. Thank you. with an Aquarius this person sees you as a wish fulfillment you give them a lot of happiness it's almost like a wish come true being with you there's a very divine connection that this person feels with you Ooh. The moon. yeah the, whatever this connection this for, person feels with you it is really really making them very very insecure they this connection scares them whoever this person you are dealing with this connection really scares them and the sun is at the bottom of the deck the sun and the moon this is the divine masculine divine feminine that is what i said at the beginning of the reading a divine connection this person feels a divine connection with you and whatever this connection is this it scares the hell out of this person With the seven of pentacles, this person is really contemplating right now. They're thinking a lot. They're thinking about this connection. They're thinking about how to go about with it, how to approach this connection, what to do. So this person is a lot in the thoughts. They're thinking, 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 contemplating. They can't stop thinking about this connection with the moon. It is this connection is bringing in a lot of insecurities out of this person. And they are feeling very, very insecure. This person is very insecure when it comes to the connection, when it comes to you. And that is why they are too much in their head. five of wands tried coming out inner conflicts this person is uh, too much they're very conflicted right now that this the conflict this person is having right now is very immense and the main reason they are this conflicted is because of this connection this person really doesn't know how to deal with this connection they have never felt this kind of connection before this is definitely not feeling this connection ever before but with no matter how much conflict this person has no matter how much overthinking they are doing how much contemplating they are doing how much insecure they are they still want to see the truth they still want a beginning with you it's not like this person is trying to run away from this connection but at the same time yeah see the interest that is how they feel. They want a new beginning. Ace of Swords, they impress. They want a new beginning. They want you. But they are very, very conflicted when it comes to you. They want you, but they are conflicted about this connection is too much and what if I can't handle it? You could be dealing with a Pisces, an Aquarius, a Taurus or a Libra. And you see, bottom of the deck is high priestess if this person is silent right now if they, there's no communication between the both of you right now it is because this person's mind is very blown they don't know what to do they don't know how to approach it and that is why they're keeping it silent this person wants to clear their mind first with the ace of swords they are looking to clear their mind first and that after that they are going to approach you are they 
I see you. I will see you all this connection. King of Cups. This person sees you as someone who's very, very mature. Okay, someone who's very, very mature. Someone who knows how to handle their emotions. As much of a mess this person feels like they are. They see as you as someone who is not at all messy when it comes to the emotions. You know your emotions. You are capable of knowing that. With Eight of Cups, you are the kind of person this person sees as who can walk away from things that don't serve them. You can straight up get up and walk away from things, situations, people, places that don't serve you. You have that kind of capability. So there's an, there's an immense emotional maturity this person sees in you. Okay. But at the same time, they know you are emotionally very, very available. You are not emotionally unavailable or you are not blocked emotionally. Your heart chakra is very open and you are very choosy also about who you want to give your cup of love. You're not the kind of person who will give your love to anyone and everyone. That is how this person is seeing you right now. Ooh, the king of cups, the king of wands. They also see you in this very, very masculine energy right now. Okay, Aries, and you are, uh, you are the emperor, right? The bottom of the deck is ace of wands. The fiery masculine energy and the king of swords. Okay, as I was saying, Aries, your card is the Emperor card, right? So, Emperor is a very Mars-based energy, very masculine energy. And this person can feel that kind of energy from you. The passion that this person sees you have is immense. You're the kind of person who goes after whatever they, you want. You're fiery, you're passionate, you can walk away from things that don't serve you. You also are very emotionally balanced emotionally mature so in short this person literally sees you as this full package but they see you in this very very masculine energy right now you could be someone who is um, male female you are in your masculine energy right now you could be really really pursuing something right now and that is why you are in your masculine energy star came out twice and the eight of wands yeah the fiery this you was very very passionate very very fiery okay you could be dealing with a gemini or an aquarius again so they see you as a wish fulfillment as i said you're very capable of giving to this person they also feel this very soulmate connection and this person feels like you are aware of this connection too this could be definitely a twin flame connection you both are dealing with and that is why this person is very very scared of you very very scared of this connection but they see you as someone who's handling this connection like a pro like you are not running away from this connection they are the ones who's running away from this connection they they realize that that they are the runner in this dynamic here they could also see you as someone who is waiting for some type of communication the high priestess was there at the bottom of the deck so they see us seeing you right now as someone who is waiting for a communication from them if this person ghosted you they took a break from you they just got scared and ran away then they are aware that you are waiting for some sort of communication from them until and unless they communicate with you you are not going to you know initiate communication okay let's see the true intentions heaviness this person feels um ace of cups one more card this is definitely the kind of connection where this person feels like they cannot match you they cannot they need to work really hard on themselves to be a match to you 
king of swords yeah they want to communicate with you they want to bring this communication but page of wands communication they want to communicate with you but this person is very very scared of this connection they feel like they can't match you and they have to really work hard on themselves to be at par with you but they want you they want a new beginning with you they want wish fulfillment with you you make this person very happy you make their cup overflow with love that is the kind of a connection this person feels with you but this is very burdensome for this person and that is why this person is trying to be very logical so even if they communicate with you it is going to be a very cut and dry kind of communication ace of swords king of swords this person will tell the truth to you to you will talk to you will communicate the truth but it is going to be very cut and dry probably not the kind of communication you are looking for you could be looking for some validation some emotional validation from this person but that is not what this person can bring to you right now because they're too overwhelmed with this connection connection they want you they miss you if the, you guys are not talking together they miss the connection they have with you they miss the communication the memories you have again the knight of pentacles they are going to be very very slow this person is going to communicate with you but it is going to be cut and dry and slowly this person will communicate more to you but if you are expecting some with the eight of wands uh, straight up you know like some emotional confession or something like that you yes, see the ten of wands Gosh, if I can handle this one. The Ten of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. This is this connection feels like a heavy burden to this person, but at the same time they can't deny what they feel for you. All right, but they are going to communicate, but it is going to be very slow and it is going to be very cut and dry. And if you are waiting for some emotional confession from this person, you have to wait a really really long time. All right, Aries. Well, that's your reading. I hope you find the clarity you've been looking for. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.